Hello guys, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Ola Tony. I created this channel to help forest trade down milk the market. So in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the bulletproof strategy on how you can make the forest market. This strategy will work on any currency pair, forex, crypto, stocks, anything. So, so let's dive into the video. So I'm going to make this video very short and smart. So this is my chart. These are the indicators we are going to use. So I'm currently trading on the AUD JPY, Australian dollar and the Japanese yen. So that's what we have here. So first, let me show you our parameters before I show you how the strategy works. So, so the first thing we have here we have our moving averages. Let me, so you click on this F sign. You click on moving average. The first moving average we have period 13, shift zero, exponential, method exponential, apply to close, and then leave levels, then the style. I'm using blue. You can use any color you like. So on our main chart, the second moving average too, let's go check it. The second moving average is period 50 shift zero method exponential and mind you every moving average you are using and this strategy is exponential moving average and it's like using the exponential moving average that means the method is exponential so you leave levels then the style i'm using red so that's that is that for the main chart so we proceed to our second chart here that's the rsi so let's let's move to the other indi um, indicator window. So we have the first thing you're going to include. You're going to include your RSI. So we have our RSI. RSI is on period one. Apply to close. Then we have levels. Then levels we have 95. That's overbought. We have 70 strong sell. Then take profit one 55. Strong buy 10 oversold. Yeah, oversold should have been five here. Oversold should be five. Oversold should be five. Yeah, so this is the chart for indicator window one, the RSI. This is the levels and the period. So then we now move on to the moving averages under the indicator window one. So we have the first moving average now. We have period five, shift zero, method exponential, apply to close then style red you can use any color i'm using red here so we'll go to the second one the second one we have period eight shift zero method exponential apply to close yeah, i'm using green here so the third one we have period 13 shift zero method exponential apply to close then the style we have um, i'm using purple color here so we go to the first one we have um, period 21 shift zero method exponential apply to close then i'm using uh, what, what does this look like it's kind of like dark yellow i guess so you can just use any color play around with colors don't use something that is different from others you get so the last one uh, we will use the 200 moving average but we'll make it exponential apply to close then i'm using white white color here i'm using white because my chart so mind you guys if your chart is white you use black you understand but because my chart is um it's black that's why i use white so it's visible so this is it we've applied the parameter so let's move on and let me explain how the strategy worked for you guys so guys let's dive into the strategy so now on our chart we have our main chart and an indicator window on our main chart we have two moving average which is the red and the blue then on our indicator window we have five moving averages here so i'll explain to you guys on how we can milk the market with this bulletproof strategy so follow me let's go so let me look for opportunities yeah i found one here so before we can enter a trade 
all conditions must be met and what are these conditions are the things i'm going to tell you right now we look at look at our our thin level that's where we have the strong buy all move all these moving averages must cross it must touch it and cross this white moving average this white moving average is a 200 moving average so all of them must cross it up all must cross it up before we can think of a buy trade before we can assume the market is in a bullish trend so then we'll proceed to our main chart on our main chart the blue line must cross the red line to make it easier you can use any type of color but i'm using the red and blue if you use the same color with me at the same um periods when the blue chart is above it signals you that this is a bullish market you get me when the blue line is above the red line we are on a bullish trend so when you see something like this you enter your trade you enter the market from here then to be on the safer side i added this tp1 you understand so we are closing so according to this tp1 we'll be closing our trade somewhere around here just so we'll be closing our trade somewhere around here somewhere around here but if you can be patient enough and if you can enter multiple trades maybe like two trades then have tp1 tp2 or you can enter the trade then decide to move your stop loss you can wait until this blue moving average crosses the red downward that means until the red is above the blue you can exit the market but to be on the safer side you could exit then but if you want to risk more you can wait till now so that's it for a bullish market let's look for uh, a bearish market when we decide to sell um, the market so this is an opportunity here this is an opportunity here so this is it it's just vice versa it's just the opposite so all this moving average the um i think this kind of like golden purple green and red must cross this white moving average downwards all must cross it downwards all must cross it downwards before we can assume it's in a bearish trend then we now move back up to our main chart on our main chart what can we find we can see that the red moving average is above the blue we can see that the red is above the blue then when it's above the blue you enter for a short you enter the market you sell it then you sell it if you to be on the safer side you can take profit here you can take profit so our take profit will be around here will be around here you out of the market but if you are a risk takers or you can enter multiple trades and have two um to take profit you can close it here but i think this one closing it here was better but sometimes like if we look at um, the other bullish market we we, we saw it, the market retraced but still continued the trend you understand so it just depends on what tricks you can take again so you can close it here so um let me look for one more opportunity so i know some questions be on your mind um where can we put our stop loss because stop loss is very very key because the truth is this about trading 
no strategy is 100 percent if there's a 100 percent strategy i bet you every forex trader would be a multi-millionaire but there's nothing like that so you need to know your risk reward ratio and you need to minimize your risks you understand because everything is probabilities you get so i'll show you guys where we we'll put our stop loss here i'll show you guys so for this trade for this trade all conditions were met here right all the moving average touches touched our thin um point that strong buy then it crossed this white moving average upward so it crossed it up so it's a verified trade they will now move back to our main chart what do we see the blue line cross the red line upward i told you when the blue line is up that is what a bullish trend you understand the bulls have the market so you enter your trade here if you want to go by this we'll take our profit here we'll take our profit here but if you want to push further the market was trending 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 and uh, the bears had it here so you exit the market here so let me tell you where we could put our stop loss so you put your stop loss on the weak rejection you put your stop loss here you put your stop loss here you put your stop loss here then you enter here so that is it on that on this so guys there are still a lot more strategies i'm doing research every day to give you guys the best so guys this is my first video on youtube there's still a lot i'll still have to share because in forex you need to understand the psychology behind it because 80 percent of it's all about psychology you need to understand risk management risk reward ratio and a lot of things you understand so and there's a lot of strategies a lot of techniques we can use to have an edge on the market you get so i've made it a duty for me to post videos every day so on this channel i will try my possible best to post videos every day to give valuable content to come up with strategies to come up with ideas you understand to come up with the latest market trend to make us traders profitable so that's my goal thank you